Over the last couple of years that I've done online ministry, I've received a lot of criticism for how I operate my ministry. A lot of people say to me, why don't you focus on the love of God? Why don't you show people all the love that he has for them? And while that is true to a degree, that's not who my ministry is catered for. I want you to read a couple of verses in Jude with me real quick here. Jude 122 through 23, and have mercy on those who doubt, save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others, show mercy with fear, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. Right here, we get a few different styles of ministry. Some people you're to save with mercy and some with fear. And some by completely rejecting them and letting them figure it out for themselves. Not every single minister of the Lord needs to preach the same way. In fact, we've all come from different walks in life. It makes perfect sense that some people would be saved with fear and some people would be saved with mercy and some people would be saved by rejecting them and some people would be saved by bringing them in closer. And let me be clear because I know someone's going to comment about it. When I say rejecting them, I'm talking about situations like the prodigal son. They refuse to obey you, to follow your commands, to do what the Bible asks, so you can't have those people around you. So until they start walking a life that's pleasing to God, you can't have those people in your life. But circling back to my original point, of course God made us all to reach different audiences. My ministry is already catered to people that actually believe in the Bible. I'm doing my best to help people walk in perfection to start doing what the Bible actually says and to start actually walking in the footsteps of Jesus. But some people are catered to speaking towards atheists and some people are catered towards speaking to atheists who have a more scientific mind. And some people are catered to speaking to atheists who are kind, gentle people. And some people are catered towards serving this type of Christian or that type of Christian or this type of Jewish person or that type of Jewish person. We are all different parts of the body and we all have a different function. We all have a different message and we're all doing different jobs for the kingdom. So just because you don't like my preaching style doesn't mean that it's not necessary. And it doesn't mean that I'm not helping people. I'm just not catering to the message you personally would like to hear. My ministry is probably geared towards more showing people mercy with fear. And a lot of people need the fear of God installed back in them. Exodus 20, Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, that the fear of him may be before you, that you may not sin. The fear of God is necessary, and most people don't have it anymore. 